All right. Hello, welcome back to Dragon Quest XI, part 60 something, three, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> many parts. <laughs> and yeah. So we're gonna help this little dude to Uh, there's a cave to the left, I think he wants help with, if I remember correctly. So we gotta fix that. Yeah, we're going to rescue the hermit. <clears throat> I lower the music sound a little bit again because I noticed when I uploaded my video that I was kind of screaming sometimes because the music was a little bit high. So you will see how this is. Maybe I need to lower the sound volume a little bit. <clears throat> or the sound effects. Victory will be ours! But I think we're fine. Also, there's a couple of, of abilities that we're not really using that I should remove. I'm thinking of Frost Fangs. So I mostly kind of use this one and this one and a helicopter and this Gigamash, not so much, <clears throat> but I will keep it. But that frost thingy, I think I'm gonna remove and spend points somewhere else instead. Another black dragon. Cool. <laughs> he didn't care. A good deal of damage. One hundred and ninety-one. Ha ha! Parallax. Yeah. So I don't think I like Giga Mash. I'm pretty sure this is stronger. Excellent. Yeah, four hundred. Yeah, so Giga Mash, I'm gonna remove as well. I'm gonna take some quick notes, uh, I think. Um, I don't have a pen. Yes, I do. I'm sorry. I, we're gonna fix this. Uh, remove Frost Giga Mash. There we go. Okay, so we can fly that thingy.
Give it to me. Thanks for the ride. <clears throat> These horses are kind of annoying because they usually attack first. Was never in doubt. Gonna kill it with his regular attack? Uh, I'm not sure. So that did around 400. <coughs> 450. Yeah, we need to heal up as well. I need... I think this was overkill. <laughs> Dragonhide. Uh, okay, let's go down here and heal. Question is, who's magic? What does this little fucking kid do? Uh, he could heal us. Kill me. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so maybe we can drink a potion. I don't know. I see you, trash chest. The sorcerer's ring. I kinda like to fight that dragon again, but... Ah, whatever. Maybe we can skip that horse fight. <laughs> it's just annoying. Come, Luminary. We have not seen the hermit on our journey. Journey. 
<sighs> but here he is. Kinda look like a younger rap. I will rest also we could see I don't remember if we have fixed best equipment for for Hendrik weapon um Let's do all. Let's see. There is something blue. Oh, that's a two-handed weapon. Uh, we're not gonna put it on him. And the king's axe. We are using at the moment <clears throat> so no weapons armor have the best stuff. Yeah, I guess you're done. Uh, he has a better, better shield. Okay, okay, okay. Will I save? Nah, I don't think so. I must speak with you. <clears throat> okay. Come, let's take a closer look. Okay, Henrik. <laughs> Whatever. Break camp. Yeah, so let's talk to this dude. Uh, let's try to open the chest first. Sneaky, sneaky. A grandmaster, what? But it is Rab. No, 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 no. Items. Equipment bag. Yeah, this clothes for him. <coughs> Is it Rab? Mm. It, it seems we are too late. Is spin. this the hermit we came in search of? Unfortunately so. He was in deep meditation when he breathed his last. I am glad at least that he was prepared to meet his fate. But that posture, it is awful. Uniquely awful. I know it from somewhere. Huh? Yeah, but because I also think the, the necklace... Incredible! Issue one of the Ogler's Digest. And in mint condition. <laughs> <gasps> Do you read that stuff? <clears throat> hmm. uh, <laughs> indeed. It seems our friend here made his peace with the world before departing. This, at least, is some small solace. <clears throat> huh? 
but this... This is one of the royal treasures of Dundrasil. Why would a lowly hermit have such a... Oh, by the skies! Can it really be? Lord Robert! I'm so way ahead of things in this game. Your grandfather was Master Pang's most fervent disciple. <clears throat> Uh, story Can wise. he have chosen to follow his mentor to the next life? Perhaps? Such an easy story. Like, there's no, not much he is surprises. still breathing. What? The spirit hovers in the place between life and death. It is only a matter of time before he passes the point of no return. But there may yet be a way to save him. If you were to follow him into the void, you might be able to bring him back. But to the void, we go. Is this even possible? The ancient teachings tell us that the summit of Mount Pang Lai stands at the crossroads between this world and the next. If you will permit me, I can perform an ancient rite that will send you to the place between worlds. But it sure. is not a decision to be taken lightly. Once that place is entered, there is no guarantee of return. Yeah, so maybe I should save, but I don't think it's necessary. Well, but will you take that chance? Will you visit the void and bring Lord Robert back to us? It will always be an auto save. Uh, yes, kiddo. Hmm. Very well. I will prepare for the ritual. Tell me when you are ready, and we will begin. Okay. I can go and save for sure then. Uh, for, uh, for real. Let's go into the void. Into. Are you ready? Sure. It is time to depart for the place to which every soul must go, but from which few ever return. It is time to perform the right. The right. Perform the wrong. Yeah, what no. is this foolish dance? <laughs> I know, Henry. What manner of ritual is this? He's just stupid. My own, my own. Don't mind him. Yeah, we have been in the... In the void. Have we not? But this is just uh, when we went to the, uh, yeah in the crack the painting. Oh, there's. Pang. Another wandering soul drifts into my domain. Welcome, child, to the end of your journey. Destiny is cruel indeed to send <coughs> me one so young. Yeah. This may you be won't. a fruitless question, given the vacant expression you wear, but do you know what fate awaits you here? No. Oh, you poor young fool. You have no idea of the suffering to come. Let me unburden you of at least a little of your ignorance. I will explain in simple terms that even an idiot may understand. <laughs> As you see, this world Listen is a blank now. slate. It is a place of nothingness. 
Before Yggdrasil fell, departed souls would come here before returning to the World Tree. But now that the tree is gone, it is a place with an entrance but no exit. A dead end for the dead. A spiritual cul-de-sac. A dead end for the dead. What I'm trying to tell you is that you will never leave this world. Before long, your soul will dissipate and be lost to the void. As long as the cycle of souls is interrupted, all who die will suffer the same fate. Until at last, the Lord of Shadows is the only one who remains. This is your destiny. Accept it, for you cannot change it. Or do you cling to the vain hope that the heart of Yggdrasil may be recovered from Mordigan's clutches? If you do, you are a fool. You're a fool. And yet, you would not be alone in your foolishness. There are others who refuse to accept that all is lost. Some people just don't know when to give up. Huh? Okay. No treasure there. No treasure there. <clears throat> when bright brands bores breeze heaven door jam banish now light. So this looks like a kinda kinda like a arena, so I'm guessing we're gonna fight. So there's the spirit. Yes. <laughs> Did you think that he chose death out of a sense of despair? You could not be more wrong. I didn't think anything. He came here with hope in his heart. The hope that one day he will defeat the Lord of Shadows. Your grandfather came to find me so that I might teach him the last of my secrets. You know who I am, of course. Foolish child. Wow, she's I am annoying. Pan, Grandmaster of Angrila. I'm gonna beat you up. Your grandfather's teacher and tormentor. Do you see the magic circle that surrounds him? Yes. Okay, the I can see it clearly now. The draws energy the from the ether and gone. channels it to create the Mandala of Yggdrasil. This is the final secret. He has been flailing away like this ever since he arrived here. It is not good for him at his age. <laughs> but when the Great Sigil is complete, he will have mastery over a power not seen since the Age of Heroes. Okay. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Get out, Nate! Don't you dare give up now! I'll beat your bottom black and blue, I swear it! <laughs> oh! Hey! <laughs> Maybe he likes some spanking. I don't know. Rab is kind of weird. <gasps> Okay, come on, yeah. Rab. <laughs> well, would you look at that? Perhaps he is not completely useless after all. No, you are the useless one. <sighs> hey! Did you see that? I finally did it! Oh, it was beautiful! 
Hmm. Yes. Very impressive. I thought you had gone soft in your dotage. But it seems you still have some guts. Well done. Jinx! Grandmaster Pang! Was that... praise? Hoo-hoo! For the first time in my long life, she's actually paid me a compliment. Oh, that's worn my cockles more than a hundred nips of the hard stuff. What? 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 Ugh. Cockles? Perhaps if you could stop congratulating yourself for one moment and squint beyond the end of your bulbous nose, you would see we have a visitor. <coughs> yeah, he looked like an <laughs> alcoholic with his red nose. <gasps> oh my! Is wow, he didn't even really recognize you, me. Laddie? Oh, no, you as well. Your poor young life snatched away from you. <clears throat> it's not fair. It's not fair, I tell you. Oh, stop your sniveling. The boy is alive. He's what? But, but what's he doing here then? Coming to get you. He and his friends found your body and sent his soul from the world above to bring you back. Ah, oh, really? But I only came here to... And you went to all that trouble. As you can see, I'm perfectly fine. Finer than ever, in fact. Now that I've learned the final secret, you and me are going to be unstoppable. Come on, let's get back to our bodies and show that Lord of Shadows what we're made of. I'm gonna say that. Let's go Stop back right to our there. bodies. Where do you think you are going? I can't thank you enough for all you've done, Grandmaster. But now that my training's finished, I need to be on my way. Oops. Hmm. Finished. Oh, but we haven't even begun. Yeah, I figured we need to fight. Honored luminary. If you would like to follow me. Fight or something. I don't know. She's kind of fishy. I don't kind of like her at all. She's like... I don't know. I don't trust her. Your grandfather has mastered the last secret of Angry La. He now has <clears> the power <throat> to send enemies straight to the beyond. Okay. It is a technique first devised in the Age of Heroes by Morkant, brother in arms of the Luminary of Legend. For you, I have a technique no less impressive. An attack of such incredible power that it can tear through all four dimensions. Mm -hmm. It was devised by Erdwin himself during his training with Ai our first Grand Master. And it will give you strength beyond reckoning, Luminary. Well, that can't be a bad thing. Me with Morkant's spell and you with Erdwin's attack. We'll be unstoppable. If you can master it. None since Erdwin has been able to do so. The training you must undergo to acquire this power will be more intense, more relentless, more excruciating than any you have faced before. Come on. Well, let me do see. Do you it. think you have what it takes to endure this most trying of trials? Probably not. I knew you would make the right choice. Now, let us begin. The first step is to focus your mental energies and call forth a blade of pure light. Hold out your hand and try. <sighs> as good as can be expected for a first attempt. The heat of battle should help to speed you up a little. 
battle? You mean you're going to fight him? Oh, no, the, the poor lad's not ready. <clears throat> Me? Why would I rumple my nice clean robe when I have you to do my dirty work for me? Mm -hmm. But what? You're, you're going to make me fight my own grandson? We meet again. Who better, Lord Robert? You have mastered all our secrets now. There is no one better suited to the task. And besides, I've always wanted to see two princes of Dundrasil battling it out. Let me know when you are ready to begin. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm not gonna make it easy for you. Okay. Oops. Before we continue, allow me to give your grandfather an unfair advantage. Of course. All in the name of speeding oh, up your shit. training, of course. Of course. Mm. Oh. 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 oh, I have not felt this alive in decades. Let me add a little blighter. <laughs> That's the spirit. Don't hold <clears throat> back. Show him the true power of our last and greatest secret. Yeah, I think she's like a fucking Just bitch. Just you watch me. Luminary. Prepare yourself. Beat back the onslaught and unleash the technique if you can. The more you use it, the stronger it will become. You must practice until it is perfect. Here I come, laddie. Okay. It's time to show you what this old man can do. Come on then, laddie. Show me your strength. Wow. It took away almost half of my life. Okay, so this is the technique we learned. A single enemy only version of an almighty attack. Cost zero? Is it free? Let's try it out. <clears throat> Maybe I should heal. Oh, Can 60. you tell which is which? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, let's heal up. So I, I'm guessing this one is free right now because it's kind of weak and I have to use it more and more. Yeah, so it gets... Uh, this is the end for you! The damage will get like doubled. Okay, so he doesn't hit that hard. But his magic is... Kinda strong. Divide! I think I will go for Red Sword Guard 
Maybe I can sneak in it. I'm not... Let's kill the shadows. Uh, this is the end for you. Every every second. Oh man, I don't have time to attack. Shadows. Okay. Now we can see the source. Hey, come on now. Heal up once again, just in case. Can you tell which is which? Yes, I can because it says Shadow A and Shadow B. <laughs> Aye. Oh, Shadow G. We're gonna save some magic points. Witness the power of a true disciple! I don't know how much, but I, it looks like he does more and more damage as well. Okay, let's see now. So it would, would be around round 300. Yeah, okay. I thought maybe that would be the last one. Oh, yes. Wonderful. Yeah, she's I couldn't super happy. have beaten I him more soundly beat myself. Up my granddad. <laughs> I must say, I doubted you had it in you. But you have proved me wrong. And for once, that is no bad thing. <clears throat> the power of the technique comes from your heart. Hone that greatest of weapons, and none will be able to stand before you. Now, I think it's time we peeled that old degenerate off the flagstones, don't you? You beat me, even with the last secret of angry la in my side. Oh, I can't believe how much you've grown, laddie. <laughs> I'm gonna you beat weren't down. too much of an embarrassment, no. Perhaps I finally have a disciple worthy of the name. <gasps> Who's this? So this is where you have been hiding. Wait, I know that voice. Mord again. Sniveling worms. You thought to escape my clutches by cowering here in this ruined world. You have only delayed the inevitable. 
No! Ah! Curse you! I had thought your powers could not reach us here. <laughs> it seems I underestimated you. Yeah, I think you did. So inconsiderate. There was one last thing I wanted to teach you. Yeah? Fine. It seems we must do it the hard way. You two will just have to learn the ultimate ability here and now. Or die trying. Probably a what? pep, pep up so power thingy. So the last thingy. secret of Angrila wasn't the last <clears throat> one, and Quadra Slash wasn't either. Of course not, foolish man. There is another, a supreme skill devised by Grandmaster Aye. Aye. One that Erdwin and Morkan performed together. Well. Don't together. just stand there. <laughs> yes, we need to be pepped Combine up. Combine your powers. <clears throat> Revive the technique that was lost to us so long ago. So that I can die happy. You dare to resist me? You must do exactly as I say. Exactly when I say it. We have only one chance. Robert, do not think. Act. Use the technique I taught you. Quickly! <laughs> it takes forever. Now, Luminary! Unleash! Quadra Slash! Uh... Okay. Didn't have to do it. Yes. The last and greatest of all the secrets of Anguilla. The technique to end all techniques. <laughs> Solar flare. The t technique to end all techniques. He is back with us. Oh. But he Don't is greatly weakened. We <laughs> must get him to the temple right away. Don't touch my screen, kid. <clears throat> Falls into a deep sleep. Ah. Oh. He's dreaming about Grandmaster Pang. And then the morning comes. Ah. You are finally awake. Good. I feared you had suffered some lasting injury. Lord Robert awoke a short while ago. He is outside speaking with the High Lama. We should join them. Yeah, we should. But I just had a dream about Grandmaster Pang. Yeah, I've searched through this uh, place.
Good morning. Outside the whole high hole. The high hole. Oh, hello there, laddie. Ah, oh, hello. Better late than never, eh? What are you staring at me like that for? Is there something on my face? Yeah, a mustache. It is your physique, Lord Robert. You were a good deal slighter only a short time ago. <laughs> oh, that! Nothing a good breakfast couldn't cure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, the Grand Master put me through worse on more than one occasion. That's a great breakfast. Lord Robert has told me what came to pass in the void, that you met Grand Master Pang, and that she trained you in the ancient arts. I hear that you were even able to master the ultimate abilities of your ancestor Erdwin. You have my congratulations. And I hear that I owe you a debt of thanks, Sir Henrik. I need to check after it up. the boy here while I, I was think away. Erdwin was Named. Please think nothing of it, my lord. Already it is the Dragon least Quest I could do one. to make amends for all the wrongs I have done. If I remember correctly. Indeed, I feel I must apologize. Ah, oh, don't torture yourself over it, son. We've all been pawns in Mordigan's game. You have nothing to apologize for. Thank you. Truly. What do you intend to do now? We had hoped to find guidance here in Angry La, but alas, we find ourselves at an impasse. Well, funnily enough, I was just thinking about something Grandmaster Pang told me. She said old Erdwin used a very special form of transport when he went after the Dark One. Mm -hmm. Some sort of sacred flying contraption. Whatever could that mean? Ship. I didn't get the chance to ask her any more about it, but it sounds like just what we need to get up to that castle and knock Mordigan off his perch. As for our old friends, none of them were exactly the giving up type, eh? If I'm still alive and kicking, you can bet the rest of them are out there somewhere. Well, not a ship. So, a ship is what a ship. say we head over to Arborea <laughs> and keep an eye out for our pals on the way? If this flying doodad's supposed to be sacred, the folks over there'll know something about it for sure. For sure. There's no time to lose. The longer we wait, the stronger Mordigan gets. So, let's get going. Mordigan. Reb rejoins the party. New panels have, have been unlocked. Okay. Yeah, we put all the points in... in Yes, I think I'm gonna switch them around a little bit. Uh, we will see. Uh, Rab can now use the Pearly Gates ability. And Cymex and Rab can Honored now... Luminary, we disciples of Angrila will do all that we can to aid you in your preparations to take on the Lord of Shadows. We have even devised a special training regime for you. Visit us again soon. We will stand ready to help you hone your powers. Special <laughs> training? <laughs> what is that? Uh, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna save here and... Uh, I'm gonna save the game and we're gonna end this episode. I'm kinda confused. Head for Arborea. Find out how to defeat the Lord of Shadow. Yeah, because we know. We know um, 
Silvando is at phenomenomenomenom city. But I will figure that shit out. Uh, I'm gonna end this episode here. I'm gonna mess around a little bit with Rab's skill tree. And uh, we will see in the next episode what's going on. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. Good evening. Good night. And goodbye.